Slow and steady. There's no no reason to fucking worry. Yep. We already know he's there, so. Uh, let's see. The thing I'm worried about now is that he's gonna be in Overwatch himself. Moving on target location. Moving to position. I By the way, Mr. Shiv is Italian. I mean, they don't have a robot voice in this. Uh, it's like, well, what are you supposed to? What are you supposed to do? Oh, okay. A couple of guys here that could see me through the wall. Oh, there's a little laser gate here too. Sniper, there is no fucking angle with the sniper, oddly enough. Line of sight is blocked. So let's have a look here. So if I was over here, I would be able to see him. Like, does it, does it actually, no, the UI is just like, there's a thing above his, uh, whatever that would allow me to see him. But it's like, I have to, I have to actually see him too. I, I'm basically kind of have to. I have to struggle with the UI. Like it doesn't actually. Like does it tell me? Yeah. Uh, like it's like there's nowhere else in the UI where it tells me that I would be able to see him. So I'm gonna actually say we're not gonna move. Oh, we got him like that. And since it's just Mr. Shiv, here's what we're gonna do now. Could you use some ammo over here? Uh, she needs some ammo, so we're gonna do this. Overwatch. Mr. Shiv will move just into here. He can't see them anymore, so he can't get shot. And defense protocol on Kent. So they will have to move up into me now. But there are these, well, no, these are windows actually. Oh, I just realized these are windows. There's someone up here now. That's not good. Okay, nicht erwischt. All right, I think we made a good call with that. Um, this situation isn't actually that dire right now. We need to reload our primary weapon. It does, however, mean we we can only fire our pistol. Let's try it. I don't like stun lancers. It looks like the pistol has like unlimited ammo as well, which is kind of neat. Um, what's this guy? That's a stun lancer, and that's an advent trooper. So. All right, here's, I'm thinking we should just kind of grenade here because it will kill that guy and take, remove that guy's cover. So let's do that. I mean, there's still someone else to deal with, but let's just do this in the safest way possible. And then immediately regret the fact that we just removed a bunch of, we just got rid of our last grenade. Literally everybody? Oh, we can go on to this side. I can kill this guy. Yeah, it's like our only target. I mean, had had the other thing worked, had the other fucking... Um, had the, the pistol shot hit, it was a 50% chance, which is essentially nothing, but had that worked, I would have basically just, like, probably just dealt with that guy in, in another way. 
Okay, All right. Oh, good. He take like Mr. Shu. It's just like Mr. Shu from XCOM One. Every time he panics, he just takes a shot. This fucking guy. It's basically he hasn't had enough blood. All right. So Kend will go. Let's bring him. I, I don't really want to bring him over here because it's just a panic. So. So we're gonna actually just reload and then we're gonna overwatch. And I'm gonna hope he's gonna just do something reload, rash and move in. It's it's just not safe enough for us to go in there right now. Yeah, there you go. I'll get him next time. Fortunately, he's actually in a better spot for us, uh, but he's bringing people back to life, so... Okay. Shiv Mr. Shiv got over his bloodlust. Sectoid and Psy Zombie. We're gonna take out the Psy Zombie so the rest of them can just move up. Uh, that may actually not be the case. thinking of the best way of dealing with this situation right now. I'm starting to lean towards just kind of going out here and then just taking a sh taking shots at that guy. Let's do that. Hello. Alright, and let's just go over here and just fucking fire at the rest of them. Alright, duck a little bit, Mr. Shiv, please. Oh, fuck me. Now, the classic the classic thing in XCOM, surely we wouldn't miss three times, would we? Ex except it's getting farther every time, so maybe we would. Surely we wouldn't miss three times. Oh, of course we do. Yeah, you're right, not good. We have a size zombie there. Actually, he's he's poisoned, isn't he? The, the size zombie's poisoned, I think. Because they shot him with the sniper. No, he doesn't care about that. Fuck you. I'm going back. Why, why do I fucking do this to myself? I'm like, fucking... If only, if only all, all one of those three shots fucking killed him. Well, one of them hit because he was at point blank, but the other two were like, "Fuck that." Uh, I'm just, I'm mildly disappointed. Actually, I probably shouldn't have even taken a shot with the sniper to be honest, because I can probably still pistol him even if like at close range. I care. I'm actually gonna try that out now. Let's see. What's the angle for that? Let's try it out. Fuck you. <laughs> Come the fuck up. Yeah, I, I'm now determined to make this work. One at a time. Alright, our chances just really went up now. All because of that. Moving. No need to lose people. All of a sudden, every shot hits. Opposed to none of them. So he can go hack the little station here. It's, uh... What is that? Fire one. Oh, there's a. Oh, what? 
There's a, like a little gas canister here. Kind of cool. Um, I'll take note of that for next time. That's affirmative. Orders confirmed on the move. Yeah, boy. That's awesome as shit, actually. I just need to reload everybody. Back online. And we have to wait for everybody to reload. Back in. <laughs> All right. All right, Mr. Shiv. Eyes on the prize. Roger. Roger. Uh, do the thing. Take bile. All right. Recuperato. Guessing that's not water in there. Shen, any readings? No signs of radioactivity. No significant energy signatures of any kind. Whatever it is, it's safe to handle. We've confirmed acquisition of the sample. Move to rendezvous at the extraction point. Arrivano i loro rinforzi! Alright. I don't, can I bring myself onto the roof? Where am I? Oh, that's a good fucking spot. Although I may regret, I may immediately regret this, but I think there wasn't anybody else. Look out. Oh, there's a turret. <laughs> that's kind of a problem. Of course, it's a turret. What I'll do is I'll just fucking just hit at it with everybody right now. Deflection. Heading there now. How do you miss a turret, Ken? It doesn't move. I think that's everybody. Oh, Mr. Shift can go. Uh, you just kind of have a peek outside. Alright, someone's dead. Who will it be? Who's dead? Probably can't. Well, that's what you get, can for missing a stationary target like that. Adventropen. Alright, someone's not making it out of here. Look that looks like Pat has to pay the price. Oh no, he doesn't. I'm pinned down here. Alright, can you go up here? Heading out. You're a little bit closer, right? You can you can hit that now, right? Oh my god. I think he's firing blanks. Go behind the fucking cover. Okay, apparently Pat's a real badass, but everyone else here sucks. Target neutralized. Could use some ammo over here. Alright, uh, it's a stun lancer again. Try and deal with some of these guys. We're gonna move over here, actually. We're gonna just be an overwatch, I think. Kind of have to hopefully discourage him from just kind of running at me. That doesn't seem to be their thing, though. Holy fucking shit, though. This, is this another fucking stun lancer? Oh no, it's not. Well, it maybe is. All right, can't you can you can hit this right? Oh, we even got a crit on him too. Kill confirmed. 
Okay, we got 84 on him, 64 on him. All right. I'm gonna want to, I think, move. Where is he? Say he is. Right there. All right. We're gonna move over here to so now. he's not getting flanked. Oh, that's right. He's in Overwatch. Don't worry, Pat's fine. Your fucking his beard will just fucking absorb the the damage. All right, that's not good. Negative damage. Dead in the water here. Oh, uh, we'll let fucking snipers do it. Time to eliminate. So we can't actually see anyone else here. So we should heal, I guess, Pat. Just make sure he's okay. Is he, I think he's like one of the only people that can get shut up right now. They don't actually know. Well, the guy might be able to get a flank off on me. It's possible, but I'm gonna just use a protocol on my sniper, and that's it. Those gremlins are the best, though. Yeah, he can flank. I oh, know he's just gonna Overwatch. Okay. I thought he was gonna flank this guy, but I guess that's that's eventually his plan. But I guess he couldn't do it in one move. Alright, he's in Overwatch now, so we need to go into like a position like this. Where we can shoot him, but he didn't actually see us until now. The fuck? That, get, that disables his overwatch, right? Yeah, it does. Confirmed. We're fresh out of ammo. For both these people. Back in. At least if he moves, he's fucking dead. Oh, no, no, he's not. Right. Oh no, hey, I was overwatching again. Uh, I don't know. Can we blow his ass? I <laughs> probably don't want to target that. I probably don't even want to stand next to it, actually. Oh, he's dead. Good riddance. Alright. How far how far is this place? Apparently far enough. Can I just reload her rifle? Oh, there's another one. So you're gonna just keep coming in until, uh... Until whatever. Uh, let's just bring some of these guys into, like, some idealish situations. Like, they don't shoot me first turn, so... If I get kind of close-ish, then uh, we should be much better off. Because we're essentially just going to ambush them as soon as they land here. If, if that's not actually the case, I'll, I'll just reload it. I'll see you later, dropship. Ah, oh, two, two of these stun lancer guys. Oh shit! <laughs> Literally right beside. <laughs> a fucking can is like aiming like a turd today. That is not good. Now I think we can just exit with this turn, can't we? Uh, can everyone exit though? That's the question. Can cannot, so that's why we're not gonna actually do that now. On my way. We'll just kill these guys though. Like we we're right next to them, so it's really easy to flank them then. Uh, unless he has like unlimited HP, which he appears to be the case. 
79, 48, 44. Alright, let's try and shoot this guy. This guy's actually pretty, has a lot of damage to him. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just do the flanks. Uh, where's the, this guy? Okay. He's just gonna go here. He's gonna finish this guy off. I mean, we can hope for a crit, but I don't even think a crit will deal with this guy. But usually they get worried enough that they move back, so... Here's to hoping. Oh, never mind, it's a crit. It's fine. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Understood. Moving out. So I can't just kind of walk into the space, because we need another turn to essentially get the fuck out. Which is kind of dumb. They, despite the fact they're all in this area, it's like, nope, won't end. You sprint? No, no, actually they can sprint to it. Oh, well, what do you know? They can do that during a sprint. Okay, I learned something new. Once again. All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand returning to base. Mission accomplished, Commander. We just hit Advent where it hurts. Oh wait, we this just completed this difficult so mission. Open. Good good job, Corporal Pat. Oh, that was mm, pretty difficult actually. But I think the fact we brought two minigunners along really helped. I, I don't think the fucking scout would have done much actually. I mean, that sword attack is nice at all for some kind of, like, somewhat guaranteed damage, but... I don't think it's actually that great. Also, shotgun is actually a nice weapon, but the miniguns are really good, too. They worked out either way. It's a fucking long mission, though. Actually, it was really long. Fuck. I'm looking at my timer, it's like an hour. <laughs> Everyone's a bit wounded here. All right, so we got either Deadeye uh, or Lightning Hand. So Deadeye is take a shot with a small aim penalty for a significant damage boost, or fire a pistol at target. This is not this attack does not cost an action. Wow, they're actually both pretty good. Now I think about it, Lightning Hand has a three turn cooldown. It can combo well with sniper abilities. This is not does not prevent the use of a sniper rifle in the same turn. Uh, maybe that's not great because it's like if when I'm using when I'm in range for a pistol, I'm not in range for a fucking sniper really. But dead eye increases the chance of a critical shot by 25%, but increases the base damage. Uh, wait, reduces overall hit of a chance by 25%, but increases the base damage of a shot by 50%. Okay, we're doing that one because when you get like a nice flank shot, you know you you just get a guy with a grenade to open up an opportunity, and then you fucking use that maybe. All right, we have demolition. Uh, so, saving, serving as our demolition expert, the grenaders provide heavy ordnance and delivery whenever we need it. Wait, wait, no, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know if you have an island. Unleash a volley of bullets at your target's cover, significantly damaging or destroying it. Deals no damage to your target or suppression. Suppression is definitely the thing. I always loved de fucking demolition. Fuck that. That's all I have to say. Revival Protocol. Send the gremlin to an ally to remove any negative mental status effects. Destroying it to stun, panicked, or unconscious. Or Haywire Protocol. You may target robotic mechanical enemies with your gremlin attempting to hack them and seize control. I think... Oh, there's apparently a stunned status effect. I guess that's what those stun lancers do. But I haven't seen it. Because they, all they've done is melee me so far. But I want Haywire Protocol, I think. Yeah, we want a haywire protocol. That, that seems actually really nice. Alright, so now there's uh, the same thing. I want suppression. Suppression is really, really good. Now that we've recovered the apparent product of the Black Site facility, I imagine it will take considerable time and resources to uncover the true purpose of this substance. I will begin preparations for a complete analysis immediately, Commander. 
Having now seen the inner workings of the Black Site facility, the outcome is perhaps even more troubling than I had expected. It is clear the aliens have undertaken a gruesome task. I will leave this matter for you to investigate, Commander. Nice. New objective added. So, we're supposed to do the some more research. Are relaying a form of encryption beyond anything we've ever encountered. Much less theorize. We'll have to find a means of breaking the code, but I expect it will take some time. So Ken's will went back up because he actually apparently did well in that mission. I think he died and then I loaded, but whatever. All right, let's get the facility that raises my advanced warfare for center. Let's do this guy. Once AWC is built, soldiers may gain a bo bonus agility. Is it? Oh no, it's Guerrilla Tactics School. Yeah, we need that. Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Commander, I'm going to need more help on the engineering team before I can start clearing out some of these other rooms. We should recruit an engineer. Yeah, I kind of would like to do that, because now I kind of need to... Um, I need now a power facility. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I think it's worked out either way. I don't really have the option to do most of this stuff. Alright. Your effort in destroying the alien black site was commendable, but I fear the worst is yet to come, Commander. We must remain vigilant. Commander, remote reconnaissance indicates the aliens have a UFO hunting for our position. We need to be careful about where we pick our flight paths. Alright, let's give it a nice save. So I'm guessing if the UFO comes after us, that we have to run away from it or something. That's my assumption right now. Uh, so we can do, we can make contact in Western US, or there's some supply drops here. There's a supply cache here. You have a lot of shit to do. Let's get the supply drop first. And then we're gonna go do the heat signature, because it's like guaranteed 125 supplies. Could use that. Oh, there's the UFO. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. The sectoid's rapid physical evolution over the past 20 years is a testament to both the aliens' mastery of genetic engineering and their pursuit of advancement, regardless of the risks. Oh, we got mind shield. Uh, we make it immune to any negative mental conditions. All right. I'm just trying to think we do, yeah, I think any of these are like pointless now. I would like magnetic weapons, but 19 days is a lot to ask from me. Oh, Goss weaponry. That sounds amazing. Uh, alien encryption is a, I don't know. I, I, what I might do is I might do face, faceless autopsy into magnetic weapons. Because I don't think there's any rush for this. I am at a loss for words to describe the difficulties we have had in attempting to handle this creature, affectionately known as the faceless, to our troops. The nebulous form of its physical structure, including a pliable semi-solid outer layer, seems to be slowly degrading now that the creature has expired. There is also a pungent odor that only seems to grow stronger as time passes. I certainly admire the courage and tenacity displayed by our troops in the field. They There's a well-armed enemy, I know. Uh, okay, we got it. Commander, to aid in your efforts, we have gathered additional resources and staff at Resistance Headquarters for your use. Alright, so what's over here? Welcome, Commander. Right, here we go. Scanning bonus medical assistance. Um, while the Avengers located here, Resistance HQ provides extra medical staff and resources to help our soldiers recover from injuries faster. Oh, I see. Or we can... Uh, oh, I see. So it's just a 
the scanning bonus we can have. Or we can buy a scientist. Or we can get a grenader. I want a scientist, though. Person's from Russia. That's an expensive person, though. But I'm up for that. Right, let's see some targets. With the number of contacts we've established, we're getting requests for support from multiple sites around the world. Unfortunately, we only have the resources to respond to one of them. The decision is yours. The counter's dark event vigilance increases detection uh, radio of all enemies, or this one will do counters hunt XCOM launches the UFO to hunt, hunt X. What are the dark events right now? Yeah, so it's hunting the Avenger right now. But I can do this one. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna definitely. Where's the fucking? Resistance Welcome, goods are Commander. available. No. Where are the two missions I just had? Uh. Oh, here we go. Missions. So I guess we're gonna do. Oh, I want the engineer. Setting course for sector eight, Mexico. I mean, normally you wouldn't get scientists in XCOM 1, but I decided to try it here. Uh, easy mission, so we're going to bring definitely a rookie along. But that's for next time, because this has been a really fucking long episode. So, I hope you guys are enjoying, and remember, we will be watching. <laughs>